The end of a decade is nearly here. The 2010s in its final year. So let's take a trip, a trip through the past. The last 10 years which have gone by so fast. So now here we go to 2010. Here's a few pictures of me with some friends. Shortstop for freshman ball at PVI. A Phillies game with that great Belgian guy. The summer came and to Cape Cod we went. Quality time with the cousins well spent. When school started up, I was off to DC. A fantastic time with great memories. Catherine, Lauren, Harrison, Cassidy, Jerry, Benjamin, Ellen, Anjani, Sarah, Lavius, Jordan, Ashley, a few of the people from NYLC. The memories made are ones that will last. Shenanigans, boy! It sure was a blast. Sweet 16 season was in full effect. Let's pause and look at these picks for a sec. Friendships were growing during sophomore year. So long 2010, 2011 is here. Hey look, here's a pic of me and Allie. A spirit week pic, then me and Bobby. Three wedding pics with smiles all around. And here is a tree that had to come down. What, are you being too for a lawsuit? <laughs> <laughs> that was like professional. <laughs> that was pretty professional. It broke right in half. <laughs> to the diamond we go, four picks of me, focused and smiling while playing JV. Sophomore cotillion I dressed to impress, a Santa with me in her purple dress. Clearly I had a favorite color. Purple for me, I don't want another. There were some fun times at Sam's and my place. Bonfires with friends. What's that on his face? Halloween I cannot explain at all. And no, alcohol was not involved. Just save your old costumes and you can find that. You look pretty good too, in a pink pimp hat. Student council was my extended family. Peer leadership was one also to me. Two thousand and twelve. Oh boy, here we go. We start off with the Mr. PVI show. I pause it right here to give ample praise to Olivia Suarez, who saved me that day. Alone on the stage, not sure what to do, she gathered her friends and said, "We got you." Dancing to Thriller alone isn't right. They made up a dance and joined the spotlight. She made me feel confident when I was not. Thank you, Olivia. It meant a lot. The flock got wild and made a big scene. When Sanity was the best dodgeball team. Me, Chris, Brianna, all pose on the night. We got our class rings. The future was bright. Now to prom season and my junior prom can be summarized as simply the bomb. My date was beautiful from dress to hair. When I was on my phone, she did not care. We took some great pics, just look at us two, with pretty close matches of the color blue. Everyone was a depiction of beauty. Smiles so bright, a night to be happy. But we don't stop here, oh no, we progress to another prom date with a beautiful dress. It was an honor to be Kathleen's date. And hey, here's Chris Booth. That guy was first rate. On to the summer and starting it all, the River Sharks game, it's time to play ball. Here was where the word family did gather with food served on a white styrofoam platter. Another family got together too, Green Hennessy and the student council crew. The wards gathered round for a ceremony honoring Uncle Pat's time in the Navy. Oh, Captain, my captain, he retired as such. And to all in this photo, I love you so much. Where was I for the end of the summer? Camp Fatima for the best week ever. I counseled and friended a really great kid who loved baseball more than even I did. Sword fights and floral and meeting Carrie and becoming friends with little Andy. High school seniors, we were finally here. Check out this change in just three little years. 
The first semester did not have a lot, but 2013 was filled bottom to top. So for 2012, I say that's enough. Here are extra picks to wrap this year up. Mr. PVI rolled around once again. I had a great date. It's Leslie, my friend. I danced all around, feeling quite groovy. Here is a shot of my little booty. The Phillies weren't good, but at one of their games, I met Greg Murphy in the funny LA. Have you ever stood as a statue to pose? I certainly have. Mike Rosansky knows. Off to the prom, again we have Leslie, us doing our best to try and look fancy. The final dance of my high school career, a spectacular way to end the year. But we are not done, for as a senior, you got to go to the best place in the world. To Disney World we all went as a class for one final party, for one final bash. We rode lots of rides and ate lots of food, the company keeping you in a good mood. The memories full, most good and some bad, and when we left we were all very sad. But nothing could take away from senior trip, as old people say it was really quite hip. Frowns quickly turned smiles, cause right after that, we donned our gowns and put on our caps. Graduation day was finally here, culmination of the last four years. The PVI class of 2013, time for the next chapter, wipe the slate clean. But before moving on, I must emphasize the awesomeness of these gals and these guys. During senior year, we became very close. These are some of the friends I value the most. The pictures are lacking, but that is okay, because the memories with them are here to stay. A vacation in Vail highlights the summer, golfing and hiking, it was not a bummer. My biggest decision at 18 years old was to go to Mason and wear green and gold. The first thing that happened was me meeting Chad, one of the best college friends I have had. There's not many pictures from that first semester, but I can tell you the stories, and that is much better. But not here and now, 2013 is done. Time for 2014 to have its fun. 2014 was a great year for me, but not great for pictures, as you will see. I went to a game with new friends in DC and said, thank you, Charlie, back up in Philly. My dad's spontaneity came in real nice when we got playoff tickets right by the ice. My first NFL stadium, a college game, between that of Navy and Notre Dame. We saved Pilot House through sheer force and will and saved Mason from the likes of evil. This year was great in so many ways. One of them was meeting Akira Glaze, a best friend through college. She was there for me and there for her I always try to be. There were good times and smiles throughout the year. Just look at these pictures, it is quite clear. Each picture comes with several stories to tell. For now, I'm just giving you the outer shell. From baseball to friendships to new jobs and more, just wait till you see what 15 has in store. We start things off with Seek 2015, where we took our talents to Tennessee. Tedla and I grew closer as pals. Hey, here's Ellen, an NYLC gal. We made some new friends and saw some of Nashville. And I got on stage, that's always a thrill. Then homecoming came and wouldn't you know, Barnacle Boy was back in the show. He cheered on the team and before you could blink, he was dancing on stage, doing the lip sync. Then he went down to the Florida Sun with club baseball too, have a whole lot of fun. Spring training games and the beach of clear water, going back to the cold, man, nothing was harder. CCM took a trip to Philly one day to watch the Hawks and the Patriots play. Dom showed me his ballpark and all of its luster, however one run was all they could muster. Some nice views of Pittsburgh, I have to admit. To get up the hills, you don't walk, you sit. At Mason Day, we all had a blast. My friendship with Carmichael grew pretty fast. The wards got together, you know that's a treat. Enjoy the videos and pics, they're neat. Welcome to the Ward family vacation 2015 here in Brigantine. This is our home. I am your video cameraman using a selfie stick to give you this tour. 
Behind me, you'll see the living room, full of fun stuff and a TV over there on the wall. Now I'll take you down the steps as we continue this selfie stick tour. Downstairs, ho oh, ho, look who we found on the tour. Michelle, where are you going, Michelle? Don't you want to be a part of this selfie stick tour? Oh, I was. No, it's facing this way. Hey, hey this is Hello, Michelle, all everybody. All my hands. Associate are practicing here. All right, so now we have Tom Brady and his associate oh. practicing. So, Tom, do you have any words about the plate gate? What? No. No comment. <laughs> Here's Brian and Kai. We are now on the first floor. Great memories formed as this vacation went by, but we're moving on, no need to ask why. I volunteered at these really cool games and saw the great dance that some call insane. Couple of Halloween picks we have here, then the start of my basketball announcing career. My very first game was at Radford Gym, then at VT with Jason Brightman. We called many games of women's basketball. We even got to see Niagara Falls. My 21st birthday in 2016, but on that big day, well, this was the scene. I encore announced for basketball games. And Chris Jenkins showed his clutch three-point range. Nope. Oh, no! oh my God! Spring training once more. Man, look at that team. Watching a sunset and living the dream. The marketing team, boy, that was a crew. Charles, our leader, and our friend too. Here's Caitlin who went to formal with me, and I got a pick with an MVP. Cue Lonely Island, cause we're on a boat. But it's Richie's, so would it stay afloat? It did stay afloat, and look what I did. Caught this little guy, then threw him back in. At Jeff's wedding, all the pics were happy. My dad looking sharp, and then there is me. Next we had Tori's and Alex's wedding, the family together. It was a blessing. With camcorder in ham, I took up the task of recording this day, though nobody asked. Now they have a video forever. To look at that day that they both treasure. Back to announcing and back to the court, the track and the field calling all the sports. My favorite was women's basketball. I even went with them to New York in the fall. In my senior year, I made some great friends as my college career was about to end. But before it did, we went back to see where things were quite grand. Certainly not bleak. A great time spent in San Antonio. Be sure to remember the Alamo. I played my final games of club baseball and made my final George Mason call. Being a bat boy, man, that was a blast. And reuniting with friends from the past. I graduated in a gown of green. God bless grandma who came to support me. To 2018, we are on our way. But first, a quick look at my trip in LA. My very first year of having no school, I just have to say, it was pretty cool. Lots of great times and great memories. Let's start off with a bit of history. For 51 years, the Eagles had seen the Super Bowl go to another team. But this year no more, no this year we dance. The Eagles are Super Bowl 52 champs. The Eagles are Super Bowl 52 champions, baby. One, two, three, fly. Eagles fly on the road to Hit them low, hit them high, and 
watch our eagles fly, fly, eagles fly, on the road to victory, E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles! Kelsey was fired up at the parade, shout fly, eagles fly, his story was made. The MLB All-Star Game was in D.C., and I got to Bat Boy and got on TV. I got to meet Hoskins while he was there. And the future Philly won the Derby with flair. I went to Denver and saw the Rockies. Hey look, here is Jordan from NYLC. It was a great trip with Leo and her. And one of her friends can dance with fire. Then later that year is when I would go to the Buckeye State the land of Ohio. A water park birthday for my friend Jess. Was 2018 just simply the best? Well, possibly not. For one August day, we found out that Kate Ward had passed away. The matriarch of the entire Ward family. You never will find a soul that's more lovely. But we know she is back with her husband she loves, watching over us all from somewhere up above. In September, I went to Puerto Rico, a retreat for growing and service, you know. We volunteered to help build a fountain. The water was perfect to go for a swim. Max led the way and Erin sought out peace, yoga, and life skills, an awesome retreat. I went out of order, but the final things were Christmas and Vegas for winter meetings. The lights and the sounds of Vegas did glow, and Dom and I saw the Blue Man Group show. I have many stories from this event, just not many pictures for me to present. It's 2019, and let's jump ahead. Let me introduce you to my new friend. His name is Bryce Harper, he wears number three, and look at that smile that he gave to me. The Phillies right fielder, he's here to stay. Meeting him was a very special day. Here's a quick pick of a Chris Archer ball with a story behind it I will not tell all. I bought my own car and then we begin looking back at my time in Wisconsin. I guess you could say I followed the Phillies, I watched them play ball at historic Wrigley. Then up to Milwaukee for a quick lark, watched them play the Brewers at Miller Park. I worked for the Fond du Lac Doc Spiders as their only video producer. I worked with a group that was like no other, especially Tony my little brother. On one of our trips, we saw Field of Dreams. This truly was an interesting team. Back to the Nats in the midst of a race, I got back in time for the postseason chase. As a Phillies fan, it was bittersweet, but this atmosphere, it was pretty neat. I held a cool trophy and got on TV. Just look at me here at 9.43. The Brewers, the Cardinals, the Astros, they all needed a bat boy. I answered the call. I worked the World Series 2019, then dressed as a loser for Halloween. Thanksgiving was great, another fine treat. Laughter and memories and turkey meat. I'm hopeful there are more great things in store before we must close up the Decade Door. Now please do not think this decade was perfect. There was plenty of bad, I just chose not to show it. I do not ignore the darkness that's there. I focus on light, positivity I share. Now what will I do in the 2020s? Come back in 10 years. I'm sure there'll be plenty.